Welcome to Season 5 Bios. Well done. <laughs> Welcome to Season 5, boys. Oh, that's boys. Okay. Yes. Yes, it is. Hello and welcome. Season Hello. five, boys. Yes. Five whole seasons under our belt. Well, four seasons Man. under our belt. Five going. Five going. It's pretty impressive. Well yeah. done. Look at us go. Yep. I'm impressed. Are you impressed? I'm pretty impressed. We're in three different cities, one of them being in a completely different country. And look at us go. Yeah. Uh, we're uh, all under lockdown, though, which is nice. Yes. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so some things just uh, don't change, basically. No. Well, luckily, we got to test the system out before lockdown proper, proper, you know? We did. We did. And I good. have fiber now, so it's not a complete mess like it was the first lockdown. Oh, man, that must feel such <laughs> like such a weight off your shoulders. You oh, it is. Yep. I've got a decent camera now as well, which is nice. Nice. I just need to get a decent mic, I think. Yeah, looking at it, it actually looks like Kyle's camera is slightly sharper than yours, Lee. What? I know. And this is just on the surface. So, wow. well, it's a mine surface, so that's pretty good. Yeah. I'd get myself a surface. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm disappointed. Do you know what I think it is? It's because I turned the lights on. Oh, that should have made it sharper. Really? Because it was looking better beforehand when I was messing around with it. Okay. Maybe. I, I don't know. Who knows what these camera things do? I'm, I'm not a camera op or anything. <laughs> I'm if not a camera are. person, says producer Paul. exactly what you are. Oh, dang. If you weren't that, then we'd be in trouble. This yes. is a problem. Well, I'm just using a webcam at the moment. All of my cameras are in that big cabinet you see under the um, curtains behind me. In a box oh, marked yeah. ca cameras. <laughs> no, it's more in a box called Please Don't Steal. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> nice. I like the way you've, you're very uh, <laughs> proper about it. <laughs> Right, I'm trying something. All right, Lee's okay. trying something. I'm disappointed my lack of my lack of HD. Well, I would be disappointed if he didn't come back on and he wasn't in a tutu. <laughs> Same, actually. I'm in your tutu, mate. That's the thing. <laughs> There's no tutu there. Right. Is that any better? Um, or is that exactly the same? It kind of looks exactly the same, in all honesty. Yeah. Wow. Wow, that's harsh. That is a bit harsh. Hello. Oh, well. That was is that my better? wife in the background? Hello, wife. <laughs> right, season five, boys. That's yep. right. We've been doing this for five years now. Do you guys feel old yet? No, we've been doing it for four years. Yes. Ooh. Well, it's, we're in our fifth year, which means we're kind of doing it for five. Well, <laughs> <laughs> no, nah, we've been doing it Never for mind. four. Oh, Lee's yeah. gone again. No, it's me. I'm just messing around. Just ignore me. Oh. All right. While you're still getting set up, let us talk about just... our, our recap. Who are we and what are we? We are the Xbox cast. We have two main podcasts. We've got New News, which is this one, where we yep. talk about new games and the news of the week. And then we've got Game Face, where we talk about what we've been playing, our mini reviews, our game stories, and just general fun times that we've been having with our Xbox and ourselves and our friends. Yep. Fun times. Fun times. It's always fun times. Our hosts. <laughs> our hosts. I'm Carl. I'm the voice of the Overlord above, and the other two are just the monkeys at the bottom. Except is that right? Is it <laughs> right? Interesting. Interesting. That's so, okay. I'll we be a monkey. Joined. We are joined by producer Paul. Mr. Paul, do you want to introduce yourself to our new listeners? Yes, I am producer Paul. I try and make us sound good, but as you can tell, we have Kyle and Lee. So, yeah. <laughs> I also have a cat. And, and both of us just press buttons all the time, which makes Paul's laugh pretty difficult. I oh, think. oh, yes. I was supposed to press buttons. Wasn't that the whole idea of me being here? Well, I gave oh. you buttons to push once, and you keep pushing buttons, and... Yes, because yeah, they were no, there. It was to push a button once. <laughs> and um, then you press every single time. Yes. Oh. I think you crashed my system, and that takes a lot to do. My system's pretty robust. Mate, it's not robust, is it? Obviously, I need more <laughs> testing. Oh, it's just not Lee proof. <laughs> exactly, it's not Lee proof. Now, Lee, introduce yourselves to our new listeners. I do the news. I think that's all I do, really, isn't it? I do the news and give you stick. Kyle, you do the news, give us stick, and sort out our merchandise. Oh yeah, merch. Oh, I've yes. got a cup. Look at my cup. Look, 
we have merch, guys. Oh. Welcome to season five. We, we all need to be drinking products. from it. No, because it's my cup. Get your own bloody cup. Yeah, <laughs> need to get a cup from me. <laughs> Uh, we also do events throughout the year, so if you want to know what they are, or take part, or just follow along, our community calendar is up on our Patreon, and we have dedicated channels in Discord. So make sure you follow us along on Patreon, on Discord, on Twitter, and on Xbox, of course, to keep up with what we're doing. Now, without further ado, what, can, what are you guys expecting from Xbox this year? Let's start off with the rumor mill. Since it's the new podcast, it's the new year. What do you want to see come out of Microsoft and Xbox hey, this year? Guessing right? is what we do best. Yes. Now, I did hear a rumor that Microsoft were looking at buying um, Ubisoft. Really? Because yeah. I heard Square, actually. Oh. Square I heard Sega. Wow. So it's, it's Sega. three different things. <laughs> Excellent. So that's good. <laughs> <laughs> that's amazing. I've also heard a rumor to say that it could be even EA. EA. Yeah, I did hear oh, EA. Yeah, as I well. did hear that one. That got me excited so, because they would then own Bioware and they would have the trifecta on RPG games. It would be brilliant. Yeah. But the Do main you think rumor is that... Someone? Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> the main rumor is that the 7.5 billion acquisition of Max and Bethesda is going to be a drop in the ocean compared to what Xbox is buying this year. That's probably where we heard EA, Ubisoft. I mean, Activision, yeah. that's got to be worth a ton. Yeah. I mean, Haven't EA just brought somebody like Codemasters, though? I think they tried to do a hostile takeover of Codemasters. No, I think they've bought them. Oh. Wow. 1.2 billion it was. Jeez, I knew someone was trying to do a hostile takeover, yeah. and then someone oh. came in and swooped in and That's right, yeah. So there was someone who came with a billion dollars, and then EA went, nah, here you go, here's 1.2. <laughs> that's nice yeah just drop a few minutes the problem with that is they've got all the car racing games now except Forza mm. uh, and they're like going to go let's do like a, uh, a Call of Duty style on it we can go eternate years on the need for speed burnout need for speed burnout need for speed burnout so they're going to destroy that um, franchise too right, and they have dirt now with Codemasters and dirt, that's right yeah dirt there's a whole bunch they have too many. It worries me. Although none of those are really that good. New Speed was good about 15 years ago. Yeah. <laughs> but just saying that's all. That's what I said. Like, that was a statement. <laughs> you're like, Need for Speed is good 15 years ago. And all of us go, yeah, no, fair. That's yeah. true. It, it was. It was very yeah, good I'll 15 take, years take ago. Take Two was the company that was going to buy. They put a billion dollars in, and then uh, EA jumped in with 1.2. Oh, wow. Yes. Whereas yeah, I thought really Take Two was owned by Codemasters. Oh, no, not at all. No, separate. Separately. So they've got Project Cars, they've got F1, Grid, Dirt. Yeah. Obviously, uh, their own need for speed. They'll burn out of paradise, but they have anyway. Do you think we're ever going to see where Xbox is home of RPGs and EA is home of racing games and, you know, things like that? But isn't Forza Horizon better than all of them? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but like and PlayStation will be good up but they'll be good with the single player story one and done. Yeah, games. that's right. Yeah, yeah. Which is fine. That's that's fine. They can have that market. Yeah. But like do you think we're gonna get into that type of situation with all these acquisitions where a studio will be really good with these are really good RPGs. If you want RPGs you play on Xbox. If you want shooters you play on this this platform or this publisher. No, I think what will happen is there'll be only like four people owning all of it, and they'll try and do all the stuff quite badly. That was what will happen. It'll be like Microsoft, EA, um, Activision, and, and another, I guess. Of the yeah, there's a big four ones, PlayStation maybe some of that, and then that'll be it. It'll just be like Mark, to... like newspapers and all that, isn't it? Ah, oh, yeah. We don't need to worry about Stadia anymore. <laughs> no, <laughs> no, no. Well, that lasted for like a year, nearly. Come on, that was quite good for Google. Yeah, I mean, what, nine months? <laughs> so uh, so what, else, what else are you looking forward to, to for Xbox in 2021? Uh, I personally looking forward to something that's really cool and exclusive, which is yet to come out. And what is that? Has it been Anything. announced? Okay. <laughs> Anything at all, basically. I fear well, that Halo will come out next year. I don't think it will come out this year. 
I don't know. Halo's looking pretty good. It's not. They've just changed the management. No, but, but the, all the updates they're putting out now looks like it's finalized. Apparently, and all the things that they're saying now with Halo say that everything's finalized. They're playing through the campaign. They're just squashing bugs and tweaking now. Okay, so where's the beta? All the alpha? Oh, uh, it'll come. It'll come. <laughs> <laughs> it'll come. Uh, you just got to give it some. Got to give them some hope. Oh, I do worry about them, but yes, okay, yes. I don't know. And I just feel like it. nothing's happened yet. It's been what two, six weeks into the year. We've had medium. Yeah. Well, yeah, medium, pretty good. I mean, it it's is okay. PCs and it's. Okay. It was all right. Have you played it? No, but I've heard the graphics are a little bit average and the gameplay is a bit short. Yeah. But it's, yeah. It's not. It's not that good. It's okay. It's fine. It's like a, It's basically like an indie studio, but it reduced it, released it, which is the truth. Yeah. I mean, it's blooper team, right? <laughs> yes. Blooper team. What's interesting, though, okay, so um, this is not a prediction, but it's interesting. You know, they've brought out um, uh, Zenimax. They're making them a separate arm. Rather than being... They were going to be separate. Rather than being, like, uh, part of the team, the 20-odd studios they've got, it's going to be a separate team, separate studio. Okay, why is that? Yeah. I don't know. They almost, almost treat them like LinkedIn, or um, there's a couple of examples of companies they bought and just left alone. I think they have to do this for the EU um, acquisition part of it. I think oh, it's I one of the. So. I think it's and the it, EU getting involved to uh, say I, you can buy it and you can have it, but you have to keep it. it as a separate company. Yeah. Yeah, they're going to call it the Vault. That's what it's going to be called. That's what they're going oh, to call yeah. it. What VU four one T or something? Is that what it is? is it yeah, so it's it's vault, but with like numbers and letters, and I think it's for vault fifty forty something or vault fourteen, or it's it's one of the vaults in Fallout that are apparently really big. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. It's a link to the back to that. So, uh, yeah, this is called call vault as part of the merger, Bethesda. Um, yeah, a temporary house, Bethesda's parent company. They're calling it. So that's or interesting. Maybe... What if they're going to treat them differently? Sorry, I wonder if they're going to treat them differently to the way they're treating the rest of the companies. They might, or this just might be the you know the parent company to get them involved into Microsoft. Once once they're in Microsoft, then the company will dissolve in a way, like it's a transition company. They never have was at LinkedIn, have they? They've always yeah. left LinkedIn. There's been a couple of companies they bought and just left, or even uh, Mojab, Minecraft. They've left alone, haven't they? Yeah, and GitHub. Oh, yeah, and get help. Yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. They've just left alone. But I don't know. I think we're, they, they're just doing this definitely to get past the EU regulators, and I definitely see them pulling this into the Xbox studios at the end of the day. Mm. You don't think it's just for Game Pass to give us more games to play? No, I definitely see the long play here, and this is definitely lots more exclusives, massive game teams behind them, you know, massive names behind them. These are the guys that did Doom, for instance. Yes. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, I think that no one will need powerful PCs ever again because of xCloud when it comes to PC. And I saw yep. those rumors of beta coming out real soon for it. Mm, but I it's watch. Yeah, it's like, well, real soon. I said two weeks. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. That's going to be awesome. Which would be great for me because I haven't got a massive PC, but I can <laughs> chuck up my crappy laptop and yeah, play yeah. Xbox games. It would be amazing. It'll be great. It will. Anything you're looking forward to, Paul? Or hoping that'll come out? Um, I mean, everyone's hoping for a good Elder Scrolls, and now that it's owned by Microsoft, you know, our hopes have been risen quite a lot. <laughs> yep. <laughs> well, it actually might come out. Well, it actually might be playable on day one. I mean... <laughs> You mean bug free? Like, what is this like nonsense? Cyber, uh, like cyberpunk. Yeah, well, I was just thinking 76. Fallout 4 was reasonably playable, but I had a hell of a time trying to get Skyrim running. <laughs> oh, really? That's interesting. Yeah, it's, oh, when um, it first came out. Yeah, when it first came out, just the opening scene when you're, you know, in the cart being taken down to wherever, I can't even remember the name of that place, um, it just would crash. It was wow. so poorly done, and yeah, it'll be nice to have a Bethesda game that works out of the box. Yeah, no, that's true. 
Uh, that, that's a good rumor to have. Microsoft bought Bethesda so that we now have a bug-free experience, kind of. I hope. We can that's, really, that's really cute if that was going to happen. Yeah. <laughs> it, it reminds me of that cartoon where the, the father, where Santa Claus is asking the, the little girl, what do you want for Christmas? And she a says, I want a purple unicorn. And he's like, that's ridiculous. Or, you know, say something better. And she goes, okay, a Bethesda game without bugs. And he goes, what color unicorn do you want? What color unicorn do you want it to be? <laughs> exactly. Yeah. I've stopped playing Valhalla because of this really cool save bug. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and what it does is it deletes your save. <laughs> and it deletes all your manual saves and rolls you back 10 hours. It's wow. really cool. Or however, much. Some people have lost like 40, 50, 60 hours worth of gaming <laughs> because of a bug special. with Ubisoft save. Wow. Yeah, but That's... special. That was the word I thought when I. Yeah, indeed. <sighs> special. Very impressed I was. So I stopped playing it. I was like, I can't play this game because there's no point if I'm going to lose all the gameplay. Yeah. I done the same thing for Cyberpunk until they fixed that save bug. That just, you know, yeah. totally corrupted your save. But yeah, you know, that's yeah. real fun. I yeah. love it when they do that. Yeah, and their response for it is, oh, you shouldn't be crafting so much. Right, <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, stop playing the RPG. game. Yeah. Stop playing the game. <laughs> it's like, yeah, just stop playing the game, guys. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Brilliant. Do you think they put the bug on on purpose t- uh, so they can get all the patches out? Oh, oh, right, so people stop playing it. <laughs> <Maybe>. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. Brilliant. Yes. That's right, I'm just playing. I've got the chat, uh, I've got, yes. got the chat up for Twitch now, which is good. Um, what other stuff have we got here? What games? Any games you want to come out that might actually be quite cool? Well, yeah, I am pretty keen on more of this Diablo 4. Mm-hmm. Ah, yes. Yeah. So that's a Microsoft product now? No, that's still under no. Activision. Oh, yeah. okay. Yeah. Blizzard. True. Yeah. And I don't think, yeah, Blizzard is way too big for Microsoft to buy. I think they're just huge. Yeah. So I don't think that's going to happen anytime soon, although oh. that'll be pretty fun. That would be I know, awesome. I just want to work Activision's market cap. Activision. Cat spell. So a couple things I'm really looking forward to for Xbox, these are all rumors, of course, is that. In Exile Entertainment is working on a big budget steampunk role playing game, apparently. Oh, yes, all that. I'm in. Yes. That's going to be it. It's the second largest budget given to Xbox, apparently. The first wow. biggest budget given to Xbox is for Halo. <laughs> all right. So this could possibly be Fable, maybe, maybe, but Obsidian's working on Fable, aren't they? Which is owned by Microsoft, isn't it? Yeah, yes, so it maybe it's a cross thing. Yeah. Maybe Fable's going to be their big, their big RPG steampunk. Wow. The next thing. It's not I'm very steampunky that game, though, is it? Fable. And looking at the it video, could, that it really was. Crazy. I mean, it had firearms and stuff. Yeah, and magic. It could be if they direct it that way. Because isn't this a reboot? The new Fable's maybe. a bit of a reboot. So. Yeah. Oh, Didn't they try We've and seen... reboot it with like not Fable Legends, Fable? Something where it was Guardians a, or something? Yeah, it was a 4v1, one person being mm. the DM. Yeah, I remember that. Yeah. Um, that they killed like a year later. Yes. Shocking. Um, this is interesting. Obsidian is developing six games. Really? Yes. They apparently the Obsidian team, the, the Obsidian team grew like massively last year. Wow. And apparently it's almost one of the biggest the biggest studios that Xbox has at the moment. Well, here's this for starting a rumor. Now that <laughs> <laughs> now that the Star Wars license is not owned exclusively by EA, Ooh, maybe Obsidian is working mm-hmm. on Knights of the Sorry. Old Republic 3. Yes, I heard this already started. It started last year. Oh, okay. I, uh, I, I literally read an article about it last, last yesterday, day before, saying it was already started last year. I thought I just started a rumor, and here it is already. (laughs) 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 That's funny. Also, Uplay Plus is coming to be part of Xbox Game Pass. Okay, and what is that going to be given us? Counter, not Counter Strike, Rainbow Six Siege. I've already got Rainbow Six Siege. Yeah, so uh, for the three people that don't. (laughs) (laughs) Okay. Yeah. 
So there's that. Um, what is on Uplay? Let's have a look. No, seriously, let's have a look because it's all the. Um, It'll be all the watchdogs, the Assassin Tom Creed, stuff, um, Tom Clancy, yeah, all the Tom Clancy's, stuff yeah. like that. So, I mean, Watch Dogs Legends on Game Pass, that'll be great. That would be. That's another game with a save issue. I don't trust Ubisoft anymore because they can't do saves. Who saves games anymore? Just sit down yeah, and finish it in one sitting. Keep playing it. You don't That's need right. 100 hours of your life. That's right. Just don't turn it off. And then the last one is that, as I said, Xbox or Varsega. Okay. Why? And... <laughs> well, what's, what's don't, what's they got to offer? the um, Total War franchise isn't that owned by Sega Sega owns quite a bit when you look into it, it's not just Sonic anymore yeah so Sega's got a racing car game one. the rip off of Mario Kart racing car game oh yeah <laughs> oh yeah and kind of stuff, eh? is that Sega is it I don't think, I think it's so. Sega I'm just trying to look at Ubisoft. I'm really confused by the website. Which is not a... <laughs> Don't look at the web interface. <laughs> <laughs> what is going on? Uh, I just want a list of the games. All I'm getting is broken website. Uh, 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 Assassin's Creed Chronicles China. Wow. Yeah. In case you don't own it on Game Pass. And Mortal Gold. Phoenix Rising, which is supposed to be quite cool. Yeah, uh, Mortal Phoenix and Game Pass. That'll be great. Yeah, that game's supposed to be quite cool. And Legions and Hyperscape, which they're probably going to kill soon because no one's playing it. Yeah, Hyperscape wasn't very good. No. No. Oh, well. So that's our rumors. That's that's what we're thinking or we're hoping Xbox has in store for us this year in 2021. We wait and see with bated breath, I suppose. Yeah. So are we thinking the Star Wars open, open thing's going to come out this year? Open World? No. No. I reckon... E3, we're probably going to get a trailer for it. Okay. Well, that's a bit disappointing. All right, look, so yesterday, a story came out. It says, Knights of the Old Republic remake development may have started in, 20, in 2019. Oh, wow. So, oh, yeah, okay. so that was literally the story that I saw. You must have been reading the news in your, like, in something else, or through me. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I shared that story as well, which is kind of weird. But, hey, I'm not thinking you're stalking me or anything. No, no, just <laughs> make sure your door's locked and... Yeah, you're out of sugar. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> wow. Yeah. And I like the way you hold your hand when you sleep. You know, just... <laughs> it's like I'm holding yours at the same time. Well, I mean, you can't hold my hand while you sleep. I'm too busy holding the camera. <laughs> uh, okay, cool. This is not a weird <laughs> at all. Bye. No, not the slightest. Right. Should we move on to some news? I think Lee's oh. dying to talk about uh, some news. I'm yes. so scared by the news. You've got quite Should a bit start? of it. <laughs> start at the top. Do you want to do the, um, the Xbox gameplay chart for um, 14th of December? When Cyberpunk 27 December was number five. Number four, sorry. Wow. That's where, it's, that's where it came in at number four. Huh. Interesting. I thought it would have come in a lot higher, but Fortnite. It's never going to beat Fortnite or Call of Duty. Yeah. Modern Warfare or Black Ops. It's never going to beat those two. But Deep did beat GTA Five. Oh, finally. That is good. <laughs> yes. Should we look at the chart now? I don't know if I've actually got... I had a chart last week, I think. Are you able to screen share? We start with the chart. It's how we start every time. We have to start with the yeah. chart. Start with the chart and, you know, let's at least be a, be a chart from this year. What? Let's try to be current. It's <laughs> <laughs> crazy. To- okay, got it. Latest gameplay chart. This is exciting. This is exciting. Yes, I'm waiting okay, for you to do your magic. Death. Okay, cool. Thank, thanks, guys. Ah, it's all on you, okay. Lee. Can I do that? Um, no. I don't know what no. you did. What did you do last time? You've done a picture-in-picture thing. Yeah, that was through the app, though. I stopped using that. I, was, I could put it back ah. to the app because I wasn't sure if it was working. All right. I can do that. Okay. This is exciting, isn't it, everybody? It is. It is it's super exciting. <laughs> it is. It's, it is. La 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 la. Can we guess <laughs> who's number one? Uh, probably Fortnite. No. Boo. No. Seriously? Nope. Oh. This number one has been the same for 
I feel like it's like all last year. Well, no, I, don't I, don't I don't honestly remember what they were. Call of Duty. Yes. Which one is it, though? You can't is get away with that. Dead zombie yeah. one? Uh, no. No zombies. No, no zombies. Uh, Modern Warfare, people. Modern Warfare. Come on. Oh, yeah. That's a game that exists. That's... We don't have an all here to help us. <laughs> that's oh that's why I blame the sun. All right, let me try something. Okay. Okay. Lee's gonna try something, and let's watch the podcast break. Yeah, you're looking a lot better now. Oh, I'm not sharing you all. Okay, let's not share all of you. Wow, that's look at that! It's quite There's an impressive. So many of us. Yeah. <laughs> 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 uh, la, 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 la. Okay, cool. This is really good for the listeners. They're gonna really <laughs> yeah. appreciate this work. That's okay. Paul can cut it out in post. Yeah, no, I'm yeah, going to keep right, it yeah. in. <laughs> <laughs> just have this as the intro, just us blub bumbling about. Uh, and there we go. Aha, we oh, have no. something. Wait a minute. Let me just... Do you want me as well? Don't care about me, do we? No, we don't care. No. <laughs> Number two. Okay, cool. Lead. Minimize. Okay, okay. cool. Got this. Right, I'll see you. Right, I'll bring you, you up to things. full screen. There we go. How's that? What? What's going on here? Okay, cool. Uh, Modern Warfare 1, Black Ops number 2. Oh, wow. Minecraft nice. is number 3. Oh, okay. Four, That's I, a nice change. Oh, I know. I thought so too. GTA 5 is number 5. <laughs> Rocket League. So, you know, it just doesn't change. I know Forza has gone up 1 because yep. of the uh, it was season 32 that came out, whatever it's called, update 32 that came out. Ah, uh, yes. More stuff. Sea of Thieves has jumped quite a bit. Sea of Thieves has... Oh, yeah. Well, three places, I guess. That's a, a yeah, mover and a tracker. Why has Gears gone up? What's happened with Gears? I uh, don't free know. Free Boost Weekend. Ah. Ah. People went, oh, that's right. That's a game that I hate. That yeah. Game. So they did a free Boost Weekend, and they changed some things so that it's easier for you to level because apparently there's a bug where if you have re-upped 25 or 26 times, you stopped being able to earn experience. I hate it. I hate that when that happens. Yeah, so they basically stopped people from re-upping for the 2600th time. Uh -huh. Yeah, those people will just need to go and get a job or something. That's, yes. just, that's a fault. Yeah, uh, it's, it's ridiculous. It's, yes. Um, I see Valhalla's dropped down to four places because I've stopped playing it now. Oh, yes. um, the trendsetter. I'm the trendsetter, that's right. Cyberpunk's at 23, actually, from 17. So it's still hanging around. Yeah. For a single-player game, that's not bad. Yeah. Not too bad at all. Because uh, most of these games you'll see here are all pretty much uh, multiplayer. Yeah, they Except are. Except Valhalla, so. Uh, oh, no, I see Skyrim there. Where? Scroll down. There we go. Oh, Last down, down, down. Number 30. <laughs> yeah, 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 okay. I mean, hey. nothing's above Cyberpunk, mate. Ah, uh, well, the game uh, came out 10 years ago this year. <laughs> they must be <laughs> due release soon, aren't they? When's the new one coming out, the 4K version? That must be all soon. Uh, I think 4K's come out. It's the fridge version is next. Oh, the fridge. <laughs> uh, Project Winters, 44, new entry. Uh, a re-entry of Fauna was still kicking around, and Rogue Company as well, which has got a re-entry. Skate 3 and Black Ops 4. Uh, Black Ops 3, sorry, which is really old. And then a sneaky, in at number 40, Resident Evil, because it's oh, on yes. Games of Gold, which is nice. Yeah. Ah. And Gears is Games of Gold as well, which is probably why, why things happened. Okay, well, that's interesting. And I think we've just lost Lee. Yes, I believe we have. <laughs> so the news was so exciting that he just dropped off. He did. That's because I pressed the button. <laughs> I see. <laughs> so you're pressing buttons again. Do you see oh, no, what because I was trying to be smooth. Buttons? Well, Alt 2 is supposed to jump between screen and not screen. <laughs> Doesn't, though. No. No. How do you use a keyboard? I did use it. That was a problem. I think Alt Two does something else on um, in Brave. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
Man. Okay, next story. Uh, next story. Going. Since uh, the charts, the charts aren't even changing this year much. I'm so sorry? The charts aren't changing this year much, so we're already off to a bad start. Yeah, I know. Moment. Come on, guys. Uh, I did like this. Four generations of Xbox console can play the same game together. I thought that was quite cool. Ah, oh, that was awesome. Was that from Stallion? Stallion? Yeah, Stallion 83. Let's find out. I'm opening it now. I haven't pre-opened anything because I'm a bit concerned so that's going to break my laptop if I open up 50,000 brave screens. Yeah. Well, just um, open as you go. I'm doing that. Well, we have to fill now. Oh, we have to fill. Well, it's loading. Have you got some better internet? <laughs> <laughs> uh, no. I'm on the, on the Wi-Fi. has got full, full power. Oh, yeah. Uh, so this is Kataku. Okay. Report um, that, because I'm pretty sure Stallion um, put it up on his Twitter, and I think he was one of the first ones to do it. Oh, this is an article back from um, the 14th or the 12th last year. Man, reaching into the depths of the vault there. Well, no, this is just we haven't talked about any stories from... Okay, so, anyway, Crimson Skies is an original Xbox game. Yeah, I remember yeah. that. Um, which has been played by 360, backs with compatibility on the Xbox One, uh, Series S, and 360. And OG Xbox is sat there in the corner, playing wow. together. That's quite That's cool. amazing. It is. Because you can play local link technology with the old Xbox. Old, 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 old Xbox. Uh, yeah, so just to get yourself a little uh, a, a router, probably, or a, what do you call it? Uh, rather than a switch? What was before a switch? A hub. A hub, that's right, a hub. Yeah, network hub. Just a little network hub, plug them all together, and away you go. You don't want it too complicated, because it'll just break, probably. Um, yeah, it'll, it'll break the original Xbox. It'll break the original Xbox, it won't keep up with stuff. But yeah, there's even a little video. So it's not Kotaku, it's back from ages ago. But it's very cool. I was quite impressed. Try and do this that on a PlayStation. Oh. Sorry, I can't resist. Um, okay, I'm going through the... Any of you want to shout out? About? Uh, um, anyone want to shout out any stories that they've seen here? So we've got Call of the Sea review? Is that Call of the Sea game came out? It came out a really nice review of it, actually. Oh, okay. Have a look at that, because I've got that installed on my Xbox, and I'm keen to play it, but I don't know whether it's worth the time, the investment. I think it is. From reading this review, it's a really nice game. Okay. Oh, cool. I'm just going to close some bits. My laptop is still crying. You are lagging pretty badly as well. Yeah, it's doing stuff. <laughs> wow. Here we go. 100% CPU. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was just so quick nosy. Call of the Sea is the first must play game for Xbox Series X. So this is a, a one it's a only Xbox, isn't it? Maybe PC as well? Um, I think it's on PC. Yeah, That's pretty yeah, cool. It looks like Sea of Thieves, doesn't it? it yeah, kind and of um, does. Rebecca's played it. Ah, okay. And what does Rebecca say about it? Rebecca said it was great. Uh, set in the South Pacific Island in the 1930s, uh, it's Lovecraft inspired puzzle game. Um, well, there's a woman named Nora searching for her husband, Harry. Just by yeah, hunting so the like, um, mysteries. Kind Sorry, of like the witness of it. Ah, okay. Uh, by it just before it uh, came out, just before CD Pro uh, Project Red's um, Cyberpunk. Yeah, and I think that's probably why it got um a bit confused a bit, and lost. A bit missed. Yeah. Um, but it's suspense says it's not full horror; it's just a suspense at a low boil mystery unravels. It sounds really nice, though. Like the review says, it's really cool. Yeah, nice and chilled. Um, it sounds like eh? like yeah, this is a voice... chilled game. Voice actor is Delia of Firewatch. Or Delilah, sorry, of Firewatch. And you know that oh, game. What? Firewatch? Oh, yeah, Firewatch. Firewatch Delilah. is a great game. Yeah, so Sissy Jones is the voice actor. Okay, that's pretty cool. Yeah. I don't know if you remember her, that's why I said it, because I know you like that game a lot, so. Yeah, Firewatch is great. Yeah. Um, it's got 4K, HDR, ray tracing. It's all the stuffs. That's fantastic. And actually, the Falconer sounds like it's quite good fun as well. From what? Um, yeah. Is it Scar's been playing it? He says it's really cool. 
Yeah, there's been a couple of reviews that are saying about the Falconer being, you know, not what they expected, but otherwise it sounds pretty cool. Hmm. Uh, it's more like a mist game, but game. So you're kind of in a room, you have to get out. That's what the game basically set up like. Yeah. So there you go. Cool. It's definitely worth a look, I think, from the sound of it. Not bad. Not bad. Right back to normal note. Um, get seven months of Xbox Game Pass for $31. It's quite nice. Oh, yes. How do you do that? Oh, my God. This is the <laughs> problem. I can see this being an issue. <laughs> Oh, that sounds interesting. We're only one four stories in. <laughs> well, we can then start picking and choosing some stories and keeping it nice and simple. Okay. Uh, ten things I wish I knew when I first started Cyberpunk 2077. Okay. 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 Yeah, well, what ten things do you wish you knew? Oh, I don't know. Oh, here, I, I will progress. see if I bring can bring it up. It's Forbes. Wants me to disable my ad blocker. I'll be quiet. I'm not worth it then. Stop, stop quiet. Stop moaning about Forbes. Just use Brave and then it does it automatically. <laughs> what do you guys think? Have you heard about the story about CD Projekt Red's files getting hacked? Yes, I yes. did. Apparently <laughs> yesterday they were sold off as well. Yeah, that's what yeah. I heard, yeah. yeah. A couple million were sold off on the dark web. Nice. Yeah. Which oh, is interesting. Yeah. Poor company. Yeah, yeah amazing, they've been through like, a bad time. They, yeah, it's not been a good time. And they got The Witcher as well, didn't they? It wasn't just Cyberpunk. Witcher 3 yeah, as well. Yeah, and they got uh, Gwent. And Gwent. Yeah. Yeah. Gwent as so well. Ooh, okay. Gwent, Witcher 3, but no personal stuff was hacked. Okay, just so no personal all the details. games. Yeah, just the game source code. Okay, so this is how you do this. Uh, for $71. I am slightly confused, but I'm going to read it, and hopefully it will make sense to somebody. Okay. Okay, we can always try explain it if we get confused. If you purchase a 12-month EA Play gift card from, for Xbox, normally $30, you can convert it into four months' worth of Game Pass Ultimate. And also, for $1, you can buy three months. Oh, so what you do okay. is you buy the free month trial for a dollar. This is only for new people, obviously. Um, the one dollar for trial, and then you buy the thirty dollar twelve month EA game, play gift game card for thirty dollars. So for thirty one dollars, you get seven months. That's not too bad, actually. Yeah. Yeah. Then, normally one hundred five dollars to get it for seven. Yeah. After seven months, you'll be hard pressed to try and get rid of Game Pass. I'm sure. <laughs> yes. You just take, you just turn off the auto renew, and then you just go and buy the the normal way, isn't it? The two hundred yeah. and something dollars, and you get three years for. And the three years. Two hundred dollars. Yeah. So you do it the other way. But this is quite cool if you've not actually got into gaming, or haven't got Game Pass at all. It's yeah, yeah it's a good so. entry point. Hmm. Yeah. So that wasn't too bad actually. That actually made sense. Amazingly. That did make yeah. sense. Yes, Forbes is still opening on my machine. I don't know what they're doing with Forbes site. <laughs> Uh, okay, this new story I thought you would have been all over, Mr. Lee. The Forza Horizon 4 Hot Wheels DLC. Yeah, I've got that, dude. That's ages. That's like way down my list, I suspect. Oh, what? Are you starting from the bottom or the top? The top. Ah, oh, word. Are you think I just from the bottom? <laughs> I'm starting from the bottom. Because that's okay. the most recent news. I think I'm getting confusing, though. That's why I didn't do it. Ah, oh, yes. Okay, so this is 10 things. This is for um, Paul to agree or not agree with. Yep, go yeah, for it. Your life path does not matter. Um, I've only played one life path, and yeah, it doesn't seem to make much of a difference other than the first hour of gameplay. Yeah, yeah. outside the very, very short intro mission and conversation openers, that did not fundamentally change anything in the course of the story. All the life paths, Nomad, Mad, Street Kid, and Corpo, Yield effectively the same V. Yeah. And not uh, influence yep. any of the major storylines. I went Nomad, okay. and other than talking to, I was going to say Pavetti, but she was from the latest, um, the Outer Worlds one. Um, yeah. Pave, something like that. I don't remember. But apart from talking to her, yeah, there seems to be very little actual change in it. And that's only because she's also a Nomad. So, yeah. Yeah. I started as a Corpo. And I, I found that there were some things you could say to people, but other than that, there wasn't 
much difference really yeah and it doesn't seem to make any major changes it's like get a little bit of information or it's about it yeah yeah, Which is a pity because they could have done so much more with it, eh? They could have really pushed the whole laugh. They could have the laugh and over two years developing this game a bit more and making it work. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but then we would have had to have waited two years. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> Wasn't there two years on eight, though? Yeah. That's Bethesda, uh, not Bethesda, that's like Blizzard level development. Yeah. That is. Yeah, then you get to GTA 6, which is never going to come out from the sound of it. Okay, consider starting on a high level. It can be fun, yet it's not a very well balanced game. I play most games on normal, blah blah blah, but on very hard, just still not not even very hard, not pose a challenge. If you switch it to later in the game when you are more powerful, in short, you probably start on a higher level. So what it's saying is it's probably not that bad in the high level when you first begin. It's not that hard. Yeah, all I really found were enemies were more of a bullet sponge, and that was about it. Yeah. yeah, that's the division style, isn't it? As well, they don't do anything yeah. different. They just you can't kill them that quickly. Yeah, you just need bigger guns. Just need bigger guns. Well, you just need lots of ammo. And remember, you can't oh, craft, ammo, otherwise yeah. your save dies. Yeah, you're also <laughs> um, I'll just get rid of that because no one cares anymore. It's just going to die. Um, get <laughs> jumping cyberware as soon as possible. Yeah, I found that more fun. Um, I have seen some people getting into hidden places with the double jump. It's something like you double jump and then you do your zoom jump sort of thing. But I just put super jump on and I just enjoy jumping over fences and jumping onto signposts. Huh. Did you go That's and look amazing. at the train station, the train station, which doesn't work? There's supposed oh. to be a whole train, train station set up in there. Oh, okay. Like they've actually built all the station and tracks and all sorts of stuff. I figured there anything. would be some sort of subway, but I never saw one in game. So I think you go high. I think it's a high monorail style oh. thing. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, I don't know. I was looking at it, it looked high. Uh, it is very hard to spec wrong. Honestly, we're not stressed about going wrong tree in terms of combat. As I said, difficult of the game makes it such that you can stupidly overpower it if you focus on any area of combat. Yeah. If you know there's no wrong options. Correct. Yeah. I mean, I've specced down into a lot of cyberware hacking style stuff. So, you know, I can yeah, so it says... people out. But if that doesn't work, then I can pull out pretty much any gun I want and still win in any combat. It's... So the same blades, hacking, and pistols are the best. Oh, yeah. Uh, Manta blades are amazing. I mean, I've got zero spec in body and zero spec in melee combat, and I can still one hit anything with the Manta blade. Yeah, that sounds good. Yeah, that's pretty cool. <laughs> but avoid this. Oh, sorry. Uh, I was, Continue. I was just sorry. Say, I found that no matter what you spec as, if you just get a gun and headshot them, it's pretty much insta kills as well. Yeah. Like, they're saying you, you one shot pistols. Yeah, pistols are probably the one best for one shotting because they have such ridiculous critical chance. But avoid this one specific perk. Yep. Oh, which one's this one? Ooh, um, the one you should avoid is ability to throw knives. <laughs> it sounds cool, but you use the melee lives in the game you pick up and you cannot require them after you've thrown them. Huh, that sounds a bit silly. That does suck, especially if you've just crafted a legendary um, dagger. <laughs> sort of throw you throw it, it somewhere. And, yeah, you've lost it. <laughs> ah, so you've done this then? Um, I did, did throw a knife. I couldn't a get a knife bit? back, and I never bothered to throw another knife. It's just yeah, easier no, no. with a gun. No, no, you you so it's it. like in real life, you know, you throw a knife at someone, and then the knife is lost into the ether forever. Yeah. Yes. Well, is it, though? Don't you just pull it out of the person you stuck it into? It depends no, no, on where that's life. stuck. Because you get to reuse knives in more game was I playing. No. Oh, oh, messing around. I've been playing Hitman, actually, and you can reuse the coins when you throw them and to distract the person, they pick up the coin, then you, you knock them out, <laughs> and then you get the coin back off them again. Nice. Your coin. <laughs> that's pretty cool. Life is too short to look like a trash monster. <laughs> <laughs> It does say one joke in is something is that you always look ridiculous if you want to keep your max armor and require a new game. Yeah. But I've learned that different armor 
But the differences now are so minimal that you're better off looking how you want to look. Exactly. Yeah. I found some legendary corpo gear, and I just I don't care if I find something better. Um, the game's just easy enough in combat that I want to look good. Yeah. If you I found wear this... shoot hat. <laughs> well, I found this like whole face burka thing, which gave me immense armor, but it kind of cut off just above the eyebrows, so it looked really weird. <laughs> And it was just like a hole for your face that stuck out. And then I was wearing this awesome suit as well. And I was like, I look like an idiot. Yeah. It does say, check out the clothing stores for Ooh, cheaper okay. options that would be better than what you have in the what you find in the wild. Wait a day and they'll have new stock. Honestly, I just can't wait until they have some sort of trags mo- tra- uh, what is it? Transmog. Transmog. That's it. Yeah. Transmog capabilities. Uh, okay. So you look like you Yeah. Yeah. Uh, you can find the best car in the game for free. Yep, I've got that car, and it is fun. How? Yeah, um, once it. you've oh, done all of the missions for that chick, I can't remember, or the first part of the missions for her, you go back into the hidden cave that um, you had to go and kill a bunch of her ex, well, the guys that stole her car from. Um, if you wait 12 hours, there's a new shipping crate in there, and it has that car. And unlike most cars where you steal, if you actually take this car, it gets added to your inventory, so you can just call it up at will. That's amazing. Yeah, and it's the yeah. fastest car you can get. Super quick, super, you know, mobile, everything. Does it hug corners? It does hug corners very well. Nice. Yeah. That's fantastic. Number eight, this is why Judy, or Pan Am, is rejecting you. That's her name, Pan Am. Okay. Pan Am. Pan Am. Pan Am? Yeah. Um, so I do not consider this a spoiler. I'll just say that at the beginning. Uh, but I do want, do not, don't want you to get your hopes up about two different NPCs, but you'll probably get rejected by one if you pursue the romantic relationship with the other one. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah. Doesn't explain why, but it's nothing, it's nothing you did wrong. In short, Judy, the PD, BD, end of sir? Yeah. Right a female versus, okay. So, and Panam, they know about his romanceable male versus, so that's why. That's fine. So you have to do the right sex. Yeah, that's fine. I kind of figured that with Judy, with her story arc where you actually rescued her girlfriend. So I kind of figured no romance for her. And um, Mm. I'm trying to get the Pan Am ending, but yeah. I don't know. I quite like the way they've written her story. Oh, very If you prefer men, River is unromanceable by females versus Carrie, who's unromanceable versus men, male. There you go. Yeah. Top tip. Number top nine, tip. top tip. Accessing the secret ending hinges on a single conversation with Johnny. <laughs> is that so, a spoiler? Yes, it is a spoiler. So what I would do is probably you'd want to play the game again just to get this again or something. I don't know. There's a whole video I had to do it. Okay. okay. It's I'll on uh, our forms. Yeah, we'll skip that. Yeah. Was that number 10, was it? Oh, no, the no, last one is waiting. Oh. Honestly, you might just want to wait a few months to play this game. And that's kind yeah. of where I'm at as well. Yeah. Yeah. Fair it doesn't change much. I actually read an article today saying it hasn't changed that much in the last couple of updates. I've I've only come across three bugs with them, and they weren't really game breaking. One was annoying, and the other two were just funny. Was that the fat guy running around after you? Um, <laughs> no, the funny ones were, um, what is it? The yeah, the guy with the spider eyes that you see in all those videos. He just kept following me, so oh, easy. Dumb, dumb. Yeah, dumb dumb, that's it. Dum dum, that's right, yeah, yeah. Easy solution for that is I just went into an area I was way under leveled for, got into a combat mode, he goes charging in, gets blown into lots of little chunks, and I just walk out. Free of my nice. issue. Yeah. And then I did find a lot of static items were just freezing on screen. So you'll have somebody walking, talking on their phone, and then the phone will just stay in place and they'll carry on walking, <laughs> holding nothing in the air, and this phone is just floating. Yeah, that's amazing. <laughs> it's it got annoying, especially when it happened like five or six times in a cut scene with Johnny, who was holding a uh, cigarette. So yep. before long, the f- screen was just full of cigarettes. Couldn't see <laughs> a thing. And this was before I got Dum Dum, so it's full of cigarettes with Dum Dum looking behind me. <laughs> that's amazing. <laughs> it was yes. The best bug I encountered was going into the, one of the dance clubs, and all the all the NPCs are tea posing. <laughs> Every single one in the whole club, they're all just T-posing and floating around. <laughs> wow. And you go, oh, yeah, this is a new type of dance. Yeah. 
Yeah, I've I found similar to that in the latest patch that came out. As soon as you kill a person, it just goes into a T-pose, and it's not until you pick them up do they actually ragdoll down. <laughs> but it just makes it uh, easier, I assume. They wanted me to they wanted to let me know that I had killed them, so they were standing in a perfect position so <laughs> I could see who I killed and who I hadn't. Uh, that's amazing. <laughs> that's very weird. Yeah. Okay. Lee's looking um, very confused. Lee's looking just... very static. Hello? Is that better? I think it's because I went to ING website and it's just broken my laptop. <laughs> well, we can still hear you. It's just yeah. your video. Oh, well, that's that's a okay, so. Talking of broken, yep. Xbox broke the record by making Destiny playable on the side of a mountain. Well, that for a segue. What? <laughs> Did you see this? Yeah, this was great. Um, 108 by 105 foot, foot wide screen, not inches, foot. That is they pretty played good. Destiny 2. Yeah, it's not a bad size, is it? Yeah. Like 105 feet across. Yeah. Yeah, I would oh, no, like that. Sorry, 100 feet across, 105. And it was played at an elevation of 11,000 feet. Wow. There's a video. Yeah. I would play the video, but I think my laptop would actually cry if <laughs> yes, I did. It would. Yeah. Oh man. There you go. That's the video. That's the page. Yeah, it's on IGN. Um, there's a guy over. He's got an Xbox top. I do like his top. Yeah. That looks <laughs> awesome. Very Christmassy. <laughs> Very Christmassy. That's right. And even his his um uh skateboard's pretty cool. Snowboard is pretty cool. Yeah. This need to be on lat. Looks awesome. Yeah, so that's quite good, what him. Yeah, that's impressive. I was, I was aware of it trying to break my laptop to watch it. See that? Moving on. Uh, uh, moving on. Dun, dun, dun. If you want to call any out you want to read. I'm having a look through them. Just um, seeing which one. Start at the bottom if you want. Uh, there's a gaming event, a gaming event happening in 2021. Did you read about this? Ah, yes. The first gaming event of the year. Kind of. It's yeah. more, for, more for devs than anything, though. Asky devs. Because it's all talking about AI and machine learning and stuff like that, eh? Uh, yes. That stuff. But what is interesting is that with this dev talk, they're shifting the Xbox um, backend from DirectX 11 to DirectX 12 Ultimate. Okay, so is that new or is it already out? It's in testing, I believe, and they're going to be using this um, as sort of first event as a way to get it out to the testers public, like the betas and stuff like that, the insider rings. Ah, okay. Which means that this is going to have inbuilt ray tracing coming to testers pretty soon, like proper full DirectX ray tracing enabled for the Series X and Series S. Okay, so isn't that already in the X? Yeah. Or it's, it has ray tracing. It's got ray tracing, but as far as I understand, it's the the DirectX 11 version of ray tracing, which is very expensive when it comes to hardware. So you you that's why you get the ray tracing with the 30 FPS only. Um, right. Okay. And yeah, only hard, and hardware only for yeah Xbox and software for PlayStation because it just takes more yeah more oomph. And so with this move to DirectX 12 Ultimate, they should be able to then get um, 60 FPS at 1080p for full ray tracing. Nice. Rather than the, the 30 FPS 1080p with rasterization, I believe it is, which is the way that the PlayStation's been doing it. That's cheating. Yeah, it is what it is. So on the 23rd and the 24th of February, that's when this uh, AI in Gaming Research Summit takes place. Hmm. Right, I'm going to go through some stories here because I'm I'm sick of my laptop and it's just struggling too much and I've got too many games. I think in normal weeks it's fine because I can open them up, but in this week it's just ridiculous. <laughs> yeah, this okay, week so is a bit ridiculous. Okay, so Xbox Control Sync trick that is perfect for the game Xbox Game Pass Super user. It looks awesome, hey, the sync trick. I've never heard yeah, of it. What so is it? You can sync your Xbox to something, your Xbox controller to something like your Xbox, say your Series X. Yep. And then you can go and play on your phone with Bluetooth. And once you've synced them, it will remember the last sync. So you can double tap the sync button and it will switch between the two things. Oh. 
So if you've got two Xboxes or two devices or something, or a PC... It would be handy because I often find mine and Mel's controllers missing from our point behind us and sitting on the kids' Xbox where they've decided, yeah, Yusuf says he needs the extra oomph that the Series X controller had to play Minecraft, so he decided to borrow my one to play it in. (laughs) And then I have to go through and resync it to my old Xbox. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, yeah. So you don't actually have to... It's been there the whole time as well. So you can literally just do it now. Wow. Okay. It'll just remember the last thing it did. Nice. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Huh. Um, Star Wars Open World Game from Ubisoft is using the Division 2 engine, which is quite oh. cool because that's a really good engine. That's going to look amazing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because Division 2, have you played it in 4K? Yeah, it's pretty. I do I like it. it. <laughs> I want to play it. Oh, that's right. You've got a little Xbox. I just got the Series X. Oh, oh no, just the One X. Just the One X. It's yeah. very pretty. It's yeah. very pretty anyway. And then they go, oh, we'll just get some 4K60 to it. And you're like, oh, wow. Oh, wow. That's, That's insane. Oh, beautiful. Yeah. And, yeah, did you see that the Division 2 is going to be getting more content this year? Yes, next year. Yeah, it's cool. Well, this year, yes. Yeah, so, I mean, if 3 is out next year, then does it 22? I think they're pushing it back, and they're just going to try to keep it alive. Maybe roll the 3 stuff into number 2, like Destiny? Destiny, yeah, yeah, definitely. And just it keep would be it cool that. if they added more places, more places to go and hang out. That would be mm. quite cool. That'd like more awesome. cities to go and hang out. Been playing that a lot this weekend. I have you. Uh, right. Yeah, I played it briefly. Um, I just look at the four K and I got stuck in somebody. I helped somebody do a mission. It was quite cool. It was quite good fun. Uh, we kicked yeah. ass. It was good. That's hilarious. I like uh, you. You're like, I just jumped in to check it out and then ended up playing for the rest of the night. <laughs> yeah, no, but a few hours went, yeah. It was good, though, because it was jumping in with level, really good level guys. So we just went through and just ripped through and killed everybody. And nice. yeah, it, was, it was nice to be with people on a decent level. Not like uh, you lot when I carry you lot. Yeah, well, you need to jump back in and carry me. <laughs> yeah, I'm kind of happy to. I think I'm like level 28 now. Oh, nice. Well, that's getting there. Yeah, slowly. Yeah. Because you haven't even got to Endgame then. Oh my god, the game's only been out for two years, so hey, don't rush these things. No, I'm not, I'm taking my time. Can you tell? I can tell you're absorbing all the content, yes, one bullet at a time. <laughs> I have no idea what's going on in the story, so I think I need to restart. Oh, it's just real life. Oh, yes, I just think it's real life. Um, just real life. Ubisoft are moving away from doing um triple A games, they're reliant on triple A games. Oh, wow. Hmm. It's just so bad. Um, so what they're going to do is use mobile now. They're going to be more mobile oh. based. Yeah. yeah. That's a bad The mistake. world sighed yeah. and groaned. Oh, wow, yeah. Well done. <sighs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. Something else. Next story. Next story. Yeah, I know, yeah. I just put that in because it was like, well done. They were really chuffed with themselves because it was their, um, what do you call it, their, their financial call that they do. Oh, uh, yes. They're like, oh, we're going to stop relying on AAA games and do more mobile stuff. They're like, oh. Well, oh. they can milk yeah. it for all the whales. Oh, they will, though. That's the problem, because EA do. Yeah. I blame EA. Yeah, I blame EA, too. Yeah. Um, I put a link out on, uh, for, last, for this week, and it's the live best deals for Xbox uh, live deals for gold games with Achievement Hunters. There's a bunch of cheap games in there. Who wants some easy achievements? There's a website. Oh, yeah. Should drop it into our Discord. Yeah. Oh, I can do. Yeah, yeah, sure. Well, it's, in, um, it's on my Twitter account, if you follow me. Lee Howard. <laughs> <laughs> nice plug. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, so Forza Horizon 4 DLC is coming. Vehicles confirmed. Everyone was really excited previously because they thought the actual whole DLC for Hot Wheels is going to come onto Forza 4. Yeah. I mean, how much work do you think it'll take really to just odd. take the, the Hot Wheels DLC from number three and just make it work on Forza Horizon 4? Why would they? It seems stupid. It makes no sense. Better graphics. They have Lego. Have you played Forza 3? It's amazing looking. Yeah, no, it's great. But It's got 4K Forza boosts. I don't know, it's got 4K boosts, though. The, yeah. the Forza 3. It looks, and I jumped in, and Neve was sat there going, it looks like a real plastic kind of game almost, like because it's all plasticky orange oh, colours. Yes. Just amazing colours. Brilliant. I just want to bring this one up, which is 32 locations that Ubisoft are going to do for Assassin's Creed. Huh, oh, okay. Is this Assassin's Creed Mobile? <laughs> yes. Uh, nice. Um, look, EA. While I wait for that to load, EA. Oh, it's loaded. Um, oh, interesting. It loaded real fast. That's quite weird. 
Just was about to ignore it. Okay, so invasion of the Americas by the Spanish conquistadors. 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 I think that's how you pronounce it. Yeah. 1519 and 1521, Spanish invaders and their indigenous allies, allies became the conquest of the empire. You explain. You expected to play as an Aztec assassin. That could be quite cool. That would be quite cool. I don't yeah. know how they're going to roll it into the story, though. Eh, just jump around killing stuff. Yeah. Genghis Khan and the Mongols. Oh, no, that'll be quite cool. That'd, that'd be would. awesome. I, I fear it's a bit big, though, because it's a whole of the Middle East and a bit of Europe, isn't it? It's, like, massive. Yeah, but if yeah. they actually add proper horse riding, then that would be pretty cool, <laughs> being able to fight from horseback. Proper horse riding? Yeah. They could just do a year of it or something or two, couldn't they? Just have a bit of it. Uh, the Warlord Battles on Feudal Japan. Although this is a bit of a sceptical one, it says here, because they've already done like a Japanese, Feudal Japanese one already. Oh, yes. And it's been done before, but it could be quite cool. Like, isn't um, isn't Thief Japanese? No. Feudal Japan? No, uh, okay. No, but I think that's one of the Ghost of Toshiba's. Tosh- was, what? No, Toshiba, uh, is it? Ghost of... Toshiba. Toshiba. Yeah, no, Ghost of yeah. something. <laughs> I don't know. I'm terrible with PlayStation okay. games. And names and brain <laughs> words. Uh, and brains and words. Yeah. The violent conflicts of the Imperial dis- Destinies, dis- Dynasties in medieval China. I'm still warming uh, up. I haven't read anything for a week or two. It's hard for my brain. Yes. Chinese words. history is certain rich. And this could be one for people. It would be quite cool if they did Chinese. They've already done that, the kind of the Assassin's Creed light, haven't they? They haven't done a full one yet. Yeah. The China one. Yeah, there. Uh, overthrow of the Tsar Empire by the communists during the Re- Russian Revolution. And, yeah, that could be quite cool, yeah. Um, also, Joan of Arc battles, rise of the Black Death during the Hundred Year War. Mm-hmm. The Spanish Inquisition. William the Conqueror in the invasion of England. Ah, oh, yes. Cool. Yeah. Hannibal's invasion of Rome. Uh, Dark Ages and historical King Arthur. Although King Arthur is a mystical person, but sure. Yeah. Uh, the rise of the Roman Empire in the Mediterranean Basin and the conquest of the Alexander the Great. Okay. Pretty cool. What about the adventures of Asterix? That would make an awesome <laughs> part. <laughs> I hope they do that. Uh, that'd be great. <laughs> oh, that's amazing. Okay, thanks, Paul. <laughs> uh, that's amazing. Uh, do you know that would be a really good Assassin's Creed setting? What? Vietnam War. I was about to say modern yeah. day, but two guns. Actually, I mean, yeah. at my grandfather's funeral, a lot of um, assassins appeared. <laughs> and a lot of old army mates of his just spoke about what he'd done in the army, which was pretty much Assassin's Creed style. He waited for the Americans to make a smelly, rowdy entrance because they always had their music playing. They always stunk of everything that the Americans <laughs> stunk of. Um, and, you know, you could smell them and hear them a mile away. You'd wait for them to get ambushed and then just go all sniper and Assassin's Creed on and just win the battle. Out. Yeah. Man. Uh, don't you cool. feel like there's too many guns, though, for Assassin's Creed? Because I... Yeah. There's foresty things. You can hide in the forest and you can climb forest trees. Foresty things. And... It would be quite interesting, I think. Don't you find with Assassin's Creed, though, as soon as I manage to get my uh, Berserker arrows or darts, that's all I use. It's way easier to kill people with a Berserker dart. I have seen people doing that, yeah. It's easy. You just shoot the person you wanted them to die, and then they go on the rampage and get killed by their own people. Yeah. It's awesome. You just walk away. So cool. Uh... EA will hold a meeting this week to determine whether it will continue trying to create a new version of the failed online game Anthem. I thought they were still putting development into that. I don't know. I did. I, so yeah. did I. And I saw that and went, uh oh. I loaded right. it up on the Series X just to see if load times were improved and anything like that. Yeah. Nothing. It was no. just as slow on the Series X. And when I went on a mission, it was just as boring. There was nothing to do. It was not yeah. playing it, that's why. It was dead. Yeah. But. The whole thing is that they've been pushing out Anthem 2.0, like all those updates and, and stuff. They've pretty much rewritten the game. Have as they, far though? Because I, I haven't seen a single thing. Left. No, no, because I hope they're, trying left. To, they're waiting to launch it with Anthem 2.0. Oh. Um, where it's going to be more Destiny-type looter shooter. 
Well, that's what it should have been. But yeah, yeah. I've actually heard that the people doing it have left since. Like the main person that was going to do that has buggered off. I mean, huh, I can see why they are contemplating because I looked at it and there was no changes. So if they're waiting yeah. until 2.0 to come out, why not just can it and put all their focus in Mass Effect relaunch, uh, you know, remaster? Yeah, I don't know. It seems weird. That's all. It's gone very, very quiet, hasn't it? Because yeah. when was it? February 2019 was when it came out. Um, and they should have done within the year, really. Yeah, Not two years. And yeah, they in the article it does say that the Anthem Next team is only thirty people. Wow. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, yeah, it's not many people at all. Oh, interesting. But mm. I mean, come on, they they should just knuckle down. They should do Anthem two point They should make it like Destiny, the Taken King, and you know, just come out guns blazing. This is awesome. Get people hyped for it again because it was really pretty. It was mm. pretty. Oh, it plays well as well. I looked at it there because my mate was saying it's rubbish. No one ever plays it. I put 64 hours into that game. Man. So for a game that no one plays, I thought that was quite a decent amount of time. Yeah. Yeah, no, that is a decent amount of time. But it's stupid because, I mean, they've put it on sale for how long? And they're just going to, what, <laughs> get everyone to, to buy, buy it for $2 and then abandon it. It's nonsense. Yeah. I actually took my yeah. copy into EB to trade it in when I was getting Cyberpunk. And um, they were like, oh, yeah, we could get you 50 cents for a trade-in. Yeah. Wow. It's, it's probably even worse now because it's only A, isn't it, as well? It's only A play, so. Yeah. But, I mean, that's why I thought I'd bring it in. With EA play, there's no point in having it. Same with 76. It's now on um, Games Ultimate. I can't trade in the physical copies. And that's annoying. Yeah. Some good news. <laughs> GTA 5 <laughs> has 140 million units sold since the game out, came out in 2013. Wow. Second only <laughs> to um, Minecraft. All right. Can we just Which disconnect is... Lee? Can just... No. <laughs> <laughs> just come out the room. <laughs> It's even more impressive as that 2020 was its second best year the game has ever had. The best year was the year it came out. That's ridiculous. Yes. Clark, how you say that that's good news? I just thought it was funny because I know how much you like this game. The more people play this game, the less time between GTA 6, you know? Or Bully 3. Or L.A. Noir 2. Bully or 2, sorry. anything. Yeah. <laughs> ah, moving on. Um, Zakuza spin-off Judgment has come into the next-gen consoles April 23rd. I saw an article off them, I was thinking to actually, and it was how to play Jacuzza in the right order. Ah, oh, okay. So you like don't start from zero. Games. There's 18 games or something. No, you don't start zero, no. Okay. I don't know if I should it, but it was quite cool. It's yeah, worth right. looking for and finding it if you want to play. Uh -huh. um, and have never played any of them, which is how I am. Yeah, and Scott says he's enjoying Yakuza 5. Oh, did he play it in order, the first one? I don't think so. I think he just jumped into this random game. Oh, dude, you're missing out on all the... Something. All the fun. <laughs> exactly. But if you don't know about it, maybe it doesn't really matter. And are there really babies? Do you really dress up as a baby? That's I think you weird. must do. Uh, Forza, Ray, Forza 4 comes to Steam, which is actually really interesting on March 9th. Because yes. it's the first game, Forza, uh, Forza game to come onto Steam. Why are they doing that if it's exactly. on the yeah, Ultimate PC it's, Pass? It's, it's very yeah. interesting, isn't it? Yeah, but there's all these PC players out there who will go, no, I'm not buying that, it's an Xbox. Yeah, Dude, but yeah. it's on the that, Ultimate PC funny. Pass, you're getting it on PC. Yeah, but people who like Steam. People on Steam don't like Microsoft, so they're never going to buy it. But they might go, ah, oh, that's a good game, I'll play that. Yeah. Weird. And I mean, Sea of Thieves is in constant top 10 of top sellers on Steam every week. Mm. Okay. And it's cross-play as well. So people on yeah. Steam can play against people on PC and on Xbox as well. Do you think it will be moddable? I mean, do you think we'll get to the point where we can play Forza with Thomas the Tank Engines? <laughs> I'll tweet with this, Paul. Why? <laughs> why? Because Skyrim was <laughs> awesome with Thomas the Tank Engines. Not is the answer. The answer is why not? <laughs> Oh, Thomas the Tank Engine. 
with the old Randy Savage voice. Oh my god. I feel like I need to move on real quick. <laughs> yes. Yep. <laughs> uh, Project Winter, we talked about earlier, comes out on Game Pass. That was at some point last month or so. Cool. Uh, Demon Slayer is coming on its way. Anyone play played Demon Slayer? I People are excited. No, okay. I was hoping you would say Demon Souls. No, Demon Slayer. I don't know what it is. I'll find out. Um, I'm just reading my titles because... Oh, wow, this looks really weird. Air, Aniplex and CyberConnect2 drops a new batch of screenshots of Demon Slayer. Hinokami and Kaputan. Hmm. People are very excited about this, anyway. So I thought I'd just share it. But you lot are very quiet, so I'm assuming it's wasted on you. Well, yeah, send the link through onto Discord, and maybe we can figure out what it's in the, it's in the, it's in, it's in the talking places. Okay. It's in the talking places. Yep. <laughs> uh, I don't understand your problem. Hello. Hello, that was uh, interesting. I just moved everything, and it all just went. Brilliant. Okay. Um, I will not put it in Discord. I'll put it somewhere. It's actually really hard to put something in Discord. I'll put it in the... Where should I put it? In the game chat? Yeah, put it in the game chat. Yeah. Oh. There you go. I did it really weirdly, though. Oh, I just got a beep from Discord. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> fancy that. Battlefield 6 is rumored to come with crossplay and, and to upgrade to Levotion. Levotion? I know none of us play Battlefield 6. But well, it is interesting that it has cosplay, and they reckon they're going to bring a new, um, an updated version or a free version of the Battle Royale as well. Oh, okay. Because they haven't got currently, you have to buy the game to play Battle Royale. Ah, interesting. And I was talking to a mate who plays COD, and he says it's actually really good, but no one's buying it because they have to buy it. Whereas they did nice. the same thing as COD did with Modern Warfare, it would probably take off. Yeah, yeah, it would probably be amazing. Yeah, it's supposed to be really um... good tech on it. Did you see the tech demo for the Unreal Engine five or six that they that un, that um, Unreal put out? No, I didn't see it, no. It's in the web browser. You can make full featured character models that are like photorealistic. Okay. Oh. Oh, and, I was talking about that today. I should listen to the podcast talking about that today. And it's kind of yeah. uncanny valley sort of levels, isn't it? Yeah, it's ridiculously good. And it's all in the web browser, their tools, um, which is quite impressive. And Battlefield 6 is going to be using it. So oh. it's going to look amazing. New game coming out called The Day Before. An upcoming survival MMO set in a post-pandemic pandemic America. <laughs> I wonder was... where they got the inspiration for that from. I don't know. It's kind of weird, isn't it? Very, um, very odd. <laughs> what they're saying, though, that I've got the whole article here from uh, GameRant.com. How the, what they should do not to be like The Division. <laughs> nice. Um, How not to be the division? How not to be the division, but it's way more about um, it's way more old school, is what they're saying. So it's more like um, you actually survive as well. So everything is more about the surviving, like ammo, medical supplies, gasoline, shelter from the cold, energy are things you have to look after. Oh, it's like the like shooting stuff. But it's not just run and gun. No, no, no. It's actually a proper you have to survive oh, thing. Oh. Yeah, yeah. Brilliant. Um. And there's not much tension in the division as well, which is true. There's no ah, tension yes. basically because you kill everything that you see. Um, and it seems to be different. Kind of, it gives you like hordes. It doesn't have um, thrown. It doesn't have a problem thrown hordes of zombies at you as well at any given time. Okay. Yeah. Which you don't really get any of that in the division, do you? There's no kind of weird kind of about to kill you because they're broken people. Yeah. Um, and more dynamic open world as well. Okay. Um, because it's quite predictable. There's no weather really as such in the division. It rains, it's foggy, or it's sunshine or not. Yeah, it doesn't really do much to the actual game, does it? No. Uh, um, whereas this will make a difference to the games. Okay. Hmm. It's quite cool. It's quite. It looks pretty interesting. So if it's got the division's graphics and like a proper, you will you have to work quite hard to play it. It could be quite interesting. Ah, oh, cool. Yeah, the day before it's called. Day before, okay, I must look that up. Ah, did you see we have finally played the Lost official GoldenEye 007 remaster on the 360? Did you see this? (laughs) Yeah, I heard about it. It's actually on PC. You can get it. There's there's how tos out there on the internet for how to get the demo to play it. 
and it just looks amazing. Like I watched the first level and was I just want this game now, please. <laughs> I can't find a video for it here. There's a video out of it of the person person playing it, and it literally the first mission where you know you sit around the corner, you turn around, you shoot the first guy, you shoot the guy on top of the thing, you get your sniper rifle, you take out the guys walking towards you, you go up to the truck, you hide under the truck. I was like, I've done this so many times. That's amazing. Hours and hours playing this game. Ah, uh, that's fantastic. I can they fixed the people actually look more like people. <laughs> they didn't. <laughs> Less like was, triangles. There were some issues with some of those faces. That's all. <laughs> Brilliant. That's amazing. Yeah, so have a look for it. GoldenEye 007 on PC, and it's some sort of demo thing you can download and play. Wow. Cool. Oh, that's exciting. Indeed. Yeah, it's very cool. Um, what's coming to... Oh, well, don't we actually talk about what's coming to Game Pass? What's uh, Ghost of a Tale is coming to PC. It's an RPG. He plays oh, yeah. Tilo a mouse and a minstrel for an perilous adventure. Oh, yeah, we covered this before. But when, when it was a new game, I think. Uh, February 4th, it says this is coming out, so it's not that long ago. Uh, Project coming Winter. Out? Yeah, coming out, yeah. Oh, Final okay. Fantasy VII, the Zodiac Age, is coming out on the 11th. So it came yeah, out on the 12th. Oh, 12, yeah, not 7, because that's wrong number. That's an X, not a V. Yep. <laughs> uh, Jurassic World Evolution's coming out on mobile and console. Yeah, buddy. Yeah, buddy. Uh, Stealth Inc. 2, a game of clones. It's coming out on mobile and console. I don't know. You play a role of an escaping sinister and high-tech testing facility. A clone. Oh, you play a clone. How bizarre. Uh, Wolfenstein Youngblood. It's coming out. That's the one with the twins. Nice. You can team up with a friend and go running around and kill stuff. Uh, Prison Architect, Architect, Architect came out on PC. And there's a whole bunch more uh, cloud games that come out as well. Uh, lots of middle of the road kind of like Donut Country, Enter the gun- Dungeon, Dungeon. Oh, yeah. Action Mine, Monster Sanctuary, River City, uh, Walking Dead, um, Telltale series came out. Yes, Your Grace, What Remains of Eda Finch. Oh, what remains of Edith Finch is a good game. Yeah, it came out on PC on cloud. Oh, uh, nice. Okay. Or, or mobile, as I call it. Uh, some DLC updates as well. Elder Scrolls Blackwood is coming out. Are you excited, young Paul? Um, I don't. What one is that for? ESO. <laughs> yes. Do you play ESO? Yeah, I still play ESO. Yeah, there's an update came out on June eighth. That's. I think that's the whole DLC pack. Not an, That's right. an update. Yeah. Yeah, it's a PL- yeah. yeah, yeah, DLC, yeah. Yeah, no, I don't think it's coming to Game Pass. It's like a full DLC pack. No, it's coming to Xbox consoles, yeah. I was just I was just kept reading down of stuff. Okay, that's, out, but... that's where I was confused. I thought you were still reading the things coming oh, to... Oh, no. Okay, we're into yeah. new games now. You've got to keep up, Paul. Come on. <laughs> okay, well, yes, yes, I have been keeping up with oh. it. Um, we've lost Lee again. They are introducing a new Paragon system which will Ooh, revamp okay. it. Very, very good. Um, I'm liking the looks of the new Paragon system, and apparently they're adding minions in, which will be minions. also... Yeah, minions. He's so you can have... Very important. Oh, he's back. Hello. Hello. It just it Discord restarted itself. I could hear you, but my thing had turned off. Why am I so oh. dark? I don't know. I go from dark to light. I'm in my mood. <laughs> uh. um, so yes, I do know about that expansion i don't know if oh. i'll get it i'm planning on waiting until ea uh, eb cannot sell all their collector's editions and then grabbing the collector's edition one of it weird then didn't it yes sorry sorry <laughs> it's the most i've seen lee emote in ages <laughs> <laughs> um, it's real life amazing <laughs> Ah, okay. Falconer, the hunt and the hunter DLC is coming out. Yep. Game Pass get ten percent off. Uh, sea of Thieves season one update is out now, which was last week. And there's perks as well, which was interesting. And then with stuff that's leaving, the Blob is leaving. Ninja Gaiden Two is leaving, and World of Horror. And Shadows of the Dam is leaving tomorrow. Okay. Okay. Oh. We're getting there. We're getting there. Is that everything, or do we still have more news? Oh, a couple of days. Because <laughs> we have been doing this an hour and a half. 
Oh, have we? Yes. Oh, yes. We have. Yeah. <laughs> well, we can stop now. There's, oh, is there anything here you want to talk about? I'm tired I, now. Yeah, I think we've covered most of everything, really. Yeah. All the exciting stuff. Um, yeah, just looking at the news, seeing what's going on. Oh, Pretty a much... skilled guy made a 78-page car magazine using Forza Horizon in Photoshop. That was wow. pretty cool. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> That's fantastic creativity, yeah. <laughs> it looks amazing as well. It's like a proper magazine. It's awesome, yeah. Nice. Brilliant. Oh, okay. man. So... I'm done. I'm, I'm out. Okay. Not too much. <laughs> <laughs> the one news story that was put in by Simone here that I just want to do cover is that Biomutant is coming out this year in March. <laughs> I did see something about this, actually. It's true. I do remember seeing something about this. Yeah. It's, oh, yeah. Kind of, it's kind of a big deal now. It's quite exciting. Yeah, I vaguely so, remember you guys talking about it when I was editing a podcast last year. That's uh, maybe the year before, actually. So it comes out on May 25th this yep. year. Have a look, Paul. Biomutants. I think you'll dig it. Okay. Yeah, it looks it awesome. Looks really cool. Looks real fun. Yeah. Wow. And a very sarcastic English person talking the way for it. Oh, cool. Yeah. It'll be like having my very own Lee. <laughs> That's right. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> um, it's coming for last gen consoles as well, which is pretty interesting. Wow. Um, so yeah, you'll be able to play it on Xbox One, and they they say it'll play on the Series X and Series S. They're going to have a look once it's out to see whether it'll come. It'll be updated for the Series X and Series S to take advantage of all the nonsense there. Cool. Um, but yeah, 25th of May, finally we have a date. I think we started talking about this in 2019, mm. 2018 <laughs> even. Wow. Yep. So, woohoo. That's quite exciting. Who doesn't want a flying raccoon killing machine? That sounds amazing. Yeah, a raccoon ninja. That does sound cool. That sounds amazing. The 2018, oh, okay. So the first trailer came out in early 2018. Yeah, and that's when we started getting excited for it. Mm -mm. A few months later, oh, it was going to come out the same year. <laughs> right. And then it all went downhill after that. Yep. Well, the script went from like, what, 80,000 words to 250,000 words or something. Yeah, so, yeah that's oh, right. Yeah. yeah, yeah. But like almost, it over tripled. So. <laughs> wow. Good effort for like 20 people that are making this game. That is pretty impressive. Yeah. So, news That's cool. has happened. Yeah. Well done. <laughs> well done. <laughs> Actually, made the it. news has been quiet up until the last few weeks, the last week or two. It's been quite quiet, really. Do you think they and knew then, that we were starting again? I think so, because January was real quiet, and then all of a sudden it just picked up. And I was like, oh, wait a minute, there's actual news now. Brilliant. <laughs> <laughs> right. Should we get into some new games? I can go through this pretty quickly. Go for it. Do it. All right. So, new games. These are the new games that are only coming out from the 17th to the 19th of February. No, because... no, no. You've got to do it from the uh, 20th of December. Oh, no, 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 no. no, no. <laughs> Unlikely. <laughs> if you don't know what's come out from then until now, that's your fault. Oh, I might miss something, though. Yeah, you might. Well, you might not. The Lunar New Year sales on an Xbox store. Yes, it is. And so also uh, Take Two or somebody as well. Oh, cool. Who is it? Can get up to like 70% off certain stuff. Yeah, I need to bought Hitman 2 because it's $25 for the gold um, version. It's a pretty good what game. Called? Gold edition. Yeah. Hitman 2 gold edition. 120, 130 down to 25 bucks. I was like, oh, nice. Oh, yeah, I've been playing Hitman number one, so I thought oh, it could be quite good to get that. But do I really need to buy another game? No, I don't think you do. No. Plus, as but soon as you buy, it'll come on Game Pass. Oh, well, yeah, there's Hitman. So, yeah. Anyway, continue. Sorry. That just reminded right. me. So, February 17th. All these games are coming out on February 17th, unless stated otherwise. Ah, oh, I say that, but there's only two. <laughs> 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 All right. First up, we've got Kick It Bunny. Kick oh It Bunny. Many stone figures were erected by ancient bunnies among the oasis, but disaster struck, and all the figures were destroyed. Your task as a true bunny is not only to find traces of the old bunny civilization, but also to restore the wonderful buildings by kicking blocks. It's a puzzle game. It's a puzzle game. It is. It is. Fill in the gaps. Make yep. them square. Fill in the gaps. Turn it around. It's like Tetris on the floor. 
Yes. Next up, we've got Void Gore, which is a pixelated shooter mess. But yeah. it's from the creators of Project Starship. It's an arcade shoot 'em up experience. I don't know what that means. It means it we means... can move to the next one. I mean, who, what Project okay. Starship? Who, what's that? What's Project Starship? Know. Okay, you said like you meant something. Well, <laughs> just in case someone out there is like, I really love Project Starship. Ah, oh, well, this is the same. Next up on February 18th, we have Anodan 2 Return to Dust. I didn't even know there was a first one. I don't know either. You travel the world, you meet strange people, and you save the world from the dangerous nanodust in this follow-up to the classic Anodyne as you run, Ooh. jump, and drive, dive across vast, dreamy 3D landscapes. Okay. That's amazing. Wow. Right. Now, uh, clearly, this is all the games for February 19th. So we have Boom Blaster, which is a run-and-gun, an old-school mega run-and-gun shooter. If you've played anything like um, Metroid what's it? and yeah, Metal Slug, yeah, you will know what this game is. Um, next up, we've got Effie on February 19th as well. This is a 3D action adventure game that combines combat, platforming, and puzzles with the exploration of an expanded world. Cool. You free the cities from a powerful and dark evil and relive the look and feel of old school video games. I don't Next like up. when they say that. It means they've been lazy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So pretty much every single game that we're about to talk about is a pixel game, pixel art game. We have Gravity Heroes is a fast-paced, chaotically beautiful 2D platform shooter. We have Puss, which is a cat that's trapped in another dimension, and you must discover a way out. It's a 2D... Um, that is freaky. It looks like it's some sort of game you play when you're high. Yeah. Yes. It definitely looks like it's you're on LSD when you play this game. Yeah. Next up, we have Rodent Warriors. is an epic 2D roguelike RPG about rodents. Nice. <laughs> I like it when they say roguelike. I feel like I should drink when you say that, when they say yeah. roguelike. We definitely need to have a drinking game with this. Yeah. And last on this list, finally... We have Speed Limit. It's a non-stop genre-warping arcade experience. Old-school action extravaganza. It's... <laughs> I do like the way that guy is dying, though, because you can see blood at the back of his head from two dashes and a bit of splodge. Yes. Yep. I can't believe there's, like, no graphics in any of these games. <laughs> Maybe they forgot. It's just maybe there was because of cyberpunk. They were like, no, we've had cyberpunk. It went really badly. Let's take all the graphics out. <laughs> I personally blame Humble Bundle. <laughs> Humble Bundle, oh God. There's another pack where you can buy kit set assets for building your own pixel art games. That's just nonsense. Yeah. Maybe now the games will start to pick up now that people are you know back at work. New Year's done. Stuff like that. I don't know. We had another full lockdown. There'll be a lot more pixel art games coming out. <laughs> <laughs> designing one? Are you not selling us something? No, I'm not designing a computer game. <laughs> a pixel game? No, not at all. <laughs> uh, and that's it. That's the new games. Oh, that was quick. You did well. well. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I made sure it was running gun. <laughs> <laughs> running gun, running gun. Not the new games. General genre warping arcade experience. It was. No, there's no genre warping in that one. <laughs> no, really not. No, oh, yeah. never slows down. No cuts. No lapses in the chaos. Ah, uh, it, was, it was chaos. There were no See, cuts. Was... But yeah. There you go. Brilliant. So that's us for our welcome back episode, guys. Yeah, it's worked pretty well, I think. I think so. It has. I need, I need more light. I feel a bit dark. Yes. You need to get like a studio light now. <laughs> <laughs> you can pick up those round ones the from is, Harvey's. Pretty cheap. The light's like there. It's, it's annoying because it's just there. <laughs> there we go. Just lean back and take your hat off. I can't uh, hear you. My head, my head well, fell out. I see. <laughs> 
Remember, guys, rate if you like and sub if you loved and share the podcast with anyone and everyone. Yep. We have links to all our social meds in the episode description. Definitely check us out on Patreon. Definitely check us out on Discord because that's where we hang out most often. And please do follow along us, follow us along on Twitter and everywhere else where we may be. Um, we're at 60 subscribers on Twitch, which is exciting. Nice. And so that's exciting. We're going to start streaming some games to Twitch now, I think. Which will be oh, yes. fun. Um, but Mr. Lee, where can they find you? So merch. Oh, yes. merch, 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 yes. merch. Since he is the merch man. Yep. Merch man. <laughs> That's a good name or not. Okay. <laughs> um, there's merch. So if anyone wants t- t-shirts, hats, mugs, yeah, uh, mug tote bags, you can get a mug of our mug on it. Yes. I was wondering if I should get four t-shirts with each of our mugs on each of the t-shirts. <laughs> you get one t-shirt one, one face on uh, I don't know that would lead to a lot of figuring out who's the most popular oh, I know that's that what I just to I think we're really funny we, yes. oh, so one question I have for this yep. moment, do I need to put at the Xbox cast or something so actually people know it's a podcast or a Twitter account or something I don't know let's hmm. ask the guys in Discord what they think with the merch Yeah, we can do if you go to Printful there's ridiculous amount of stuff. <laughs> Hoodies and jackets and jumpers and hats and caps and mugs and stickers and beer coasters. It's just ridiculous. Okay, we're going to ask our Mr. Mod to make a merch channel in Discord. I was actually thinking of dropping in some pictures of stuff. Cool. So let's and get on. Um... stuff, pay me and I will get stuff. Yeah, but let's let's set up like a little ordering thing in Discord as we quickly have an Xbox cast meeting at the end of yeah, the Yeah, that's podcast. right. We'll have a team uh, company meeting now. We'll sort that out right away. So yeah, we'll ask Noel to do that, set up a, a channel, and then we can just get orders through that channel. Yeah, that's what I think. It'll be a good idea. I think that's the best way. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, if you want merch from us, join us on Discord. I have brought the cup. The cup's awesome. Yes. Um... And actually, the um, the shirts are super comfy. Shirts are fine, aren't they? They're actually all right. But the new ones are even better. They're better quality. Oh, okay. So the ones the kids have got is a nice, it's a softer material. Oh, okay. Yeah. That's awesome. So that's nice to know. And they're about the same price, like twenty bucks or something. So that's pretty okay, cool. Cool. Hmm. Brilliant. And they arrive eventually. But I think you're an Aussie, so you'll get them quicker than I do because they have to come via Sydney, Auckland, whatever. Whereas you get them direct. Ah yes, so we just have you to... order them from it's it makes them in that country and then sends them to you. Other oh, than okay. New Zealand, of course, because no one makes New anything in New Zealand. Doesn't yeah. exist. No. no, that's right. It's just an island of the bottom of Australia. But I want people from the US to buy something so we can test it out and see if it actually works. Okay, so US listeners, buy some Please buy. shirts from us. Or Canadian, Matty, um, <laughs> would be good as well. <laughs> Right. Anyway, moving on. So where can on. they find you, Lee? Yes. Yeah. So I am Howard. Hit me up on Twitter if you want anything as well. If you want to see pictures and stuff, I will send them to you. Brilliant. Uh, Lee Howard Twitter, Lee Howard on Xbox, Lee Howard on Twitch. No, Lee Howard 25 on Twitch. That's oh, it, yes. I think, I isn't it? I forgetting Lee Howard 25 on Twitch. Yes, just to be slightly different. Just to be slightly different. Producer Paul, where can they find you? I'm pretty much anywhere you want at Hippo HQ. Um, <laughs> anywhere you want. Pretty much. I, that sounds I will... really suspicious. Okay. Right. Maybe not everywhere. <laughs> um, yep, you can join me on my YouTube channel where I upload once a week with a D&D tutorial and live stream every Friday with um, tabletop news, gaming, that sort of stuff. Which we've just topped over 70 subscribers in about three, four weeks. Oh, well done. Yeah. That's awesome. That's fantastic. Uh, On YouTube, though. On YouTube, (laughs) yes. Is that the place to be? That's where I wanted to go. (laughs) Okay. (laughs) That's awesome. Simone, who joins us for Game Face, she is JimBeanNZ on Twitter and Xbox. And I am Zarkras, X-A-R-C-R-I-U-S on Xbox and Twitch, but I don't Twitch. <laughs> well, it depends. If you have too much tea. <laughs> ah, yeah. 
No, then you twitch in the best way while you're making another cup of tea. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Try to get the caffeine levels back up again. Uh, it you just... don't need to stir the sugar in. No, it agitates the tea bag for you. <laughs> it does. <laughs> you don't need to boil the water. No. <laughs> uh, so, yes, thank you guys for listening. Welcome to Season 5, boys. This is mm. exciting. It is. That's right. back. And 200 episodes is coming up real soon, too. Ooh. Yes, indeed. So thank you guys for listening. We have been the Xbox cast. This has been a new news and our welcome back episode. We'll see you all on Xbox Live. Yes. Goodbye. Good night. Good night. <laughs>